everyone and welcome to this video by IntelliPad. In this video, we're going to talk about Scrum and Kanban to get an understanding of which is better for you. Project management techniques like Kanban and Scrum focus on continual improvement and minimal job completion intervals. However, the methods that they employ to accomplish these aims vary. Kanban emphasizes continuous flow and task visualization where Scrum focuses more on establishing delivery cycle schedules and assigning predetermined roles. Here's a look at the agenda of the video before diving in further. First, what is Agile? Second, why choose Agile? Third, we have what is Scrum? Then we talk about what are the essential roles for Scrum? Then what is Kanban? Then we talk about the essential roles of Kanban. Then why do we use Scrum? Why do we use Kanban? Then we talk about the differences between Scrum and Kanban and the similarities between Scrum and Kanban. Then we talk about which one you should choose, Scrum or Kanban. Then we look into what is Scrum Ban. Then we talk about why use Scrum Ban and with that we'll conclude. But before we begin, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any updates from us. Let us begin by understanding what Agile is. Agile is a disciplined and iterative method of managing projects and creating products. It acknowledges the cyclical nature of product development and offers self-organizing teams a mechanism for adapting to change without straying off course. Why choose Agile? Teams choose Agile so that they can react fast to market shifts or consumer input without derailing a year's worth of preparations. Your team may obtain input on each modification and incorporate it into future plans for the least amount of money by using just enough planning and delivering in small and regular increments. Authentic human relationships are more significant than strict processes as stated by the Agile Manifesto. Collaboration with clients and co-workers is more significant than set plans. Furthermore, providing a practical answer to the client's issue is more crucial than producing incredibly extensive documentation. An agile team gathers around a common goal and then executes that vision as effectively as they can. Each team establishes its own requirements for accuracy, completeness and quality. Let us talk about Scrum. What is Scrum? Scrum is a method for doing tasks as a team in tiny steps with ongoing experimentation and feedback loops to learn and get better as you go. Scrum enables individuals and teams to collaboratively and gradually generate value. As an agile framework, Scrum gives people and teams exactly the perfect amount of structure to fit into their workflows while also including the necessary best practices to cater to their individual requirements. Scrum is an empirical method where choices are derived through experience, experimentation and observation. Scrum is built on three pillars, transparency, inspection and adaptation. This backs up the idea of iterative developments. Empiricism can be compared to conducting tiny experiments and learning from the results and modifying your approach as necessary. What are the essential roles in Scrum? Firstly, Scrum Master. The member of the Scrum team, known as the Scrum Master, uses their expertise in Scrum to assist the team and company be as effective as they can be. They accomplish this by using techniques including coaching, teaching, facilitating and mentoring. Next we have Product Owner. The Scrum team member who ensures that the team is producing the most value product possible is the product owner. Lastly, developer. Developers are the Scrum team members who collaborate to develop the product. Now, what is Kanban? A well-liked framework for implementing agile and DevOps software development is Kanban. It necessitates complete transparency of work and real-time capacity communication. Team members can always observe the status of every piece of work thanks to the visual representation of work items on a Kanban board. These same GID techniques can still be used by the Agile software development teams today by matching the quantity of work in progress to the team's capabilities. Teams benefit from more flexible planning options, quicker results, a more focused effort and openness throughout the development process as a result. 
A Kanban team simply concentrates on the job that is currently being done. When a task is finished, the team selects the subsequent task from the top of the queue because any modifications outside the current work items have no effect on the team. The product owner is free to reprioritize work in the backlog without disturbing the team. The development team knows they are giving the business the greatest value possible as long as the product owner keeps the most crucial tasks at the top of the backlog. Therefore, the fixed length iterations found in Scrum are not necessary. The individual differentiation is not always necessary when deciding between Kanban and Scrum because the two methodologies can coexist. Let us take a look at the essential roles of Kanban. Firstly, Service Delivery Manager. The SDM is in charge of increasing workflow effectiveness. Although there are some resemblances, this function is neither the same or as directly comparable to a Scrum Master. Then we have Service Request Manager. The client's demands and expectations must be comprehended and interpreted by the Service Request Manager. It is comparable and occasionally mistaken for the Scrum product owner role in that regard. The SRM serves primarily as a risk manager and facilitator in this fashion. They should use a predetermined set of value related criteria in order to work items by priority in accordance with the value they provide. Let us take a look at the differences in Scrum and Kanban. In terms of roles and responsibilities, the Scrum Master sets timetables, the product owner establishes goals and objectives, and the team members carry out the task according to their predetermined roles. For a team, there are no predetermined roles in Kanban. Even while there may still be a project manager, the group is urged to work together and pitch in whenever someone starts to feel overburdened. Due dates and timelines. In Scrum, deliverables are based on sprints or predetermined time frames during which a body of work must be finished and prepared for review. Whereas in Kanban, continuous as needed deliveries of products and procedures are made. Then we have delegation and prioritization. Scrum employs a pull system, but each iteration involves pulling the full batch. Kanban uses a pull system or a structured workflow to limit team members' ability to pull new tasks until the completion of the current task. Changes made during the sprint should be avoided at all costs in Scrum. Kanban permits modifications to be made to a project in the middle of it, allowing for iterations and continual improvement before the project is finished. Lastly, Applications Scrum is ideal for teams with priorities that are consistent and may not vary much over time. Kanban is best suited for projects with varying priorities. Now that we have seen how Scrum and Kanban differ from each other, let us take a look at few of the similarities between them. Both Kanban and Scrum are approaches that promote team participation, enable projects to adapt to change, have quick development cycles and boost transparency. While Scrum is a technique that organizes workflow and team culture to produce projects in a short amount of time, Kanban is concentrated on visualizing activities. While Scrum delivers chunks of deliverables over one to four weeks, Kanban delivers work constantly until the project is completed. So the big question is whether to choose Scrum or Kanban. When to use Scrum? Scrum has been associated with increased output, accelerated delivery, reduced expenses, and improved quality. Scrum is seen by many project managers as an efficient way to handle complicated projects or ones that may experience rapid change. If your sector experiences frequent change or if your project would need room to adjust to input, Scrum might be a good choice. This might include businesses who often upgrade the technology or initiatives developing new goals. So when to use Kanban? It has been demonstrated that Kanban increases productivity, fosters a culture of continuous improvement and improves visibility. Scrum and other existing procedures can work with Kanban. Kanban might be a fantastic place to start if you don't want to change 
your entire work process but yet want to reap the benefits of an agile methodology for teams that wish to benefit from the features offered by both scrum and kanban scrumban is a good choice now what is scrumban a project management system called scrumban combines key components of the well liked agile approaches scrum and kanban the scrumban framework combines the predictability and structure of scrum with the adaptability of kanban to increase team productivity businesses that use scrumban can assess their teams concentrate on the right strategic tasks while also streamlining their internal operations why do you use scrumban scrumban may be useful for a team in a variety of situations for instance for keeping up with ongoing projects these might include tasks for which unlike with the introduction of a new product there is no set deadline for completion next for a team that is experiencing difficulties with scrum it may occur for a number of causes for instance the team may feel that scrum's criteria are too stringent or the organization may lack the resources to sustain a scrum environment when a company seeks to allow its team more flexibility in how it operates with scrum the team frequently gives each sprint's participants specific tasks to complete however scrumban only specifies a broad range of projects and leaves it up to the team to decide how to best use its resources it improves cooperation and makes it possible for workers to identify the projects most suited to their interests and skill sets so now we conclude by saying that scrum and kanban were developed to aid teams in optimizing their effectiveness and production however choosing the winner is entirely up to each team as both sorts of tools undoubtedly have a framework or approach associated with them with the acceptance of techniques structures and accountabilities it entails scrum software is beneficial for the teams that choose to go through a full scrum transformation the issue is that using scrum software will just make it simpler to document your estimates rather than improving your ability to estimate tasks that's it for this video thank you so much for watching just a quick info guys intellipad provides agile training mentored by industry experts the course link of which is given in the description below